Hello, uh, this is Dr. Rami Saloum. Today's presentation is revolutionizing dental integration with a face scan mate. It's clear today that virtual patient is the future of dentistry. It's a combination between facial scan, intraoral scan, and a CBCT scan. So imagine you have access to all this aligned information at all times. Imagine how much better our treatment plan will be, our communication with our patient, and our final outcome. The known method today is to align intraoral scan and a CBCT scan is very simple. You'll find reference points on teeth from the CBCT scan and the intraoral scan, and the software usually will merge the two data together. And the beauty of this process is that the software will allow you to verify that this merge is accurate. But when it comes to aligning facial scan to intraoral scan, it's more challenging. Because all facial scanners today lack capability of scanning teeth. It's not possible for them to see behind lips. The known method today is to take two facial scan, one with a retracted smile and one without. And then you start by aligning the one with a retracted smile to the intraoral scan. You align the one without retracted smile to the one with a retracted smile. And the end result of this process are three scans after two alignment are three scans aligns properly together. This is my patient and he was an engineer and his demand was to see or to be part of the designing process and I accept it. So we did the design together. And then after the design was done, I did a printed a prototype, he tried it and he was happy with the result. And then we finalized the case. And I had a beautiful result, except patient was not happy. He came back in two weeks and he told me that this is not what we designed. And then I started telling him about the limitation of the technology. That sometimes we can't be 100% positive or accurate. And then I told him about the stitching process. If the stitching or the aligning between the intraoral scan and a facial scan is not accurate, then maybe the design will be not really 100% accurate. I end up giving him his money back and got my denture, which is I'm showing at the sample in the office. But this is when I thought there should be a better way to stitch facial scan to intraoral scan. And after multiple attempt, I came up with this small 3D printed device that has a tray portion on the posterior segment and has two teeth in the front. And the goal for this device is just to link the intraoral scan to the base of the nose. The way it works, we start the process by taking upper scan as normal, lower scan, and a bite scan. And then we create a biocopy or a pre-op or additional scan for the upper, and we trim the anterior portion from that scan. The next step is we use the device and we use bite registration material to fill the tray section. And we seed this device into the anterior segment of the patient's mouth. And then we add more bite registration material between the device and the base of the nose. We will go back to the intraoral scanner and then we ask the scanner to continue the scanning process or to fill the missing information but now to include the device and the nose with it. After this process is complete, we have a three scans 
aligned together. We have an upper scan, lower scan, and a biocopy scan with the nose. The next step is easy. One facial scan is needed with a big smile, and we can match the nose from the facial scan to the nose from the intraoral scan, and the process is complete. It's way easier process, more predictable. It's not important anymore that the facial scanner cannot capture the teeth precisely. Now I can communicate better with my patient. Now I can present better treatment plan and I can provide better outcome. This is my next patient and he came to my office requesting a new upper denture and all on six on the lower. We start the process by collecting data. We start by getting lower scan, upper scan, and a bite scan. The next step is we use bite registration to fill the tray portion of the device. We seed the device into the anterior segment, add more bite registration material to link that device to the base of the nose, which is a very critical step. The next step is we create a biocopy, trim the anterior portion of the biocopy, and then complete the scan by including the nose with the biocopy scan. The next step is easy process. One facial scan, and then we match the nose from a facial scan to the nose from the intraoral scan, and the process is complete. We can do the designing. We can design new upper denture. We design a new lower conversion for the patient. I confirm I'm happy with the design, how much I'm showing, how much teeth I'm showing. I can consult with the patient or communicate with them on what my plan is gonna be. And this is the delivery process of lower conversion 24 hour after extraction and implant placement were done. And this is the delivery of a temporary new upper denture. And this is how the patient looks like only 24 hour after the surgery was completed. This is my other patient. He is interested in upper and lower denture. We do duplicate his denture, take an impression with it, scan the upper denture and lower denture, biocopy scan with the nose, and I can match the nose from the face scan to the nose from the intraoral scan. I can finish the designing process, get the patient involved in it, print a prototype for the patient to try it, and then we go to the final. One last patient I want to show today is this patient was interested in new upper denture. What we can do is we do the same process, upper uh, impression, lower impression, or scan, and then biocopy scan with the nose, and then we match the nose from a facial scan to the nose from the intraoral scan, and the process is complete. We do the final design. The patient is part of it. We see the midline. We see the lip support. It's amazing how much we can achieve by linking the face scan to the intraoral scan. We can print a prototype to verify it's accurate. We can make any modification on it, reprint it if we have to. And this is the final delivery of the upper denture. The take home message of this um, presentation that face scan mate device offers several advantages. It can be used with any facial scanner or any intraoral scanner. It can upgrade a $5,000 facial scanner to perform equivalent or even better than $20,000 facial scanner. Only one face scan is required and that will reduce the amount of merging and errors. 
with this slide, I would like to thank you for your attention. Um, this is all my information. If anyone needs to contact me or have any question. Thank you so much and hope to see you in the future. Thank you.